Alrighty guys, now that we have all the pieces, the first step is prep. The few things that we have to take off and move around just so it'll be easier later to do this whole modding process. So step one is pretty simple. We're gonna flip it over and this front grill, just, if you have some nails, if you have a little bit of nails on there, dig them onto these black Technic pins and pull out the entire front grill segment because a lot of these pieces attached to this are gonna be used to do further mods. So set that aside with your pieces and then that should allow you to just disconnect this little interior space Go ahead and take that off and some of the pieces on this as well and the main uh, large piece that creates the interior space is also going to be used in the mod so keep that aside as well and then the black one by six bricks in in there tear that one out as well and in order to get this next bit it's real easy if you take off the engines temporarily we'll take off both of these engines and then we will unhook the little tubing and the easiest way i like to do this is to grab a spring loaded missile from the front and then on the sides of the of the uh, night buzzard, you can see there are some black Technic axles in there. If we can get some light, there's one here and one here. We're gonna need to pull those out or push them out. Go ahead and get your spring-loaded shooter, line it up on the axle and just push, and then get it about halfway out. You don't wanna get your spring-loaded shooter stuck in the little Technic holes in there. Push it about halfway out again, enough to get a nice grip on. And then pull these out and you will have to use one, I believe at least one of these in the mods we're doing. So set one of these aside. And then this entire rear landing section, we are going to use a decent amount of these pieces as well. So set these aside as well. Let's attach our engines back on here just so we don't forget as well as the tubing that goes next to them. And then now we're headed up front on the underside. This works best if you take off the wings. So we're going to take those off real quick. And then these uh, Technic segments that we're holding in the interior. Pull those out and if you're nice and lucky it'll come out with both pins but use these black pins to snap out these two gray technic pins on both sides the ones furthest from the front of the ship this one here this one here this one here and this one here Aha, i got lucky on that one and now that we have both of these out move these up to where those technic pins just were two two uh, holes up or two technic holes up i guess so then it should look like this on the side with your black technic pins going in and then your Technic supports going down. Cool, now that we've done that, take off uh, this uh, black 1x6 with the tan pieces underneath and simply pop off the tan pieces. Set those aside if you want to use them later but they are not part of the mods. And then reattach the 1x6. Oh, uh oh. And then we will reattach our 1x6. And then the last uh, little bit of prep we need to do, flip with this turret gun in the middle and then just push up on the door and take off this entire segment right here. Keep that all intact and then take off the two by six and the one by six plates with uh, these tiles on them and keep that intact as well. Next thing, grab one of your brick separators and snatch off these one by sixes on the side. Next thing, take both tan one by twos and move them all the way up to the front. And then from your pieces that you assembled from earlier, grab two uh, light gray one by six plates or tiles, excuse me, and snap those down right here. This will make the interior space a whole lot easier to access later. And now that we've done that, take all the plates that you tore off and snap them back on accordingly. Boom, you got your door back in there. You can fold your gun back down snap the front winglets back on and if you're wondering I have this little gun just off to the side so it doesn't snap off as easily while I'm modding the set and then from here if your bottom half looks like this and then your top half looks like this you are all set to go for all the mods
Alrighty guys, now that we have it on there, it should look something like this up front, and then down the sides it won't look too different because you can't quite spot it until you get it a low angle from underneath, then you can definitely tell. I go over all the functions, features, and the creativity behind this build over on the main review video of these mods that I have linked in the description if you want to check that out. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope this helped you mod your Night Buzzer to get a little bit more interior space in there, get a pilot seat, and even take Ray Prisoner. And like I said previously, if you want to go over the review that I did for all the mods that I added on and the creativity behind some parts of the build, go ahead and check out the video linked in the description. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace, fellas.